Amazingly, despite the media spotlight, they have all kept Cayman's secret. Did your employees tell their wives? No. Did you tell your mom? My mom knows, but moms you can trust. <laughs> Maybe your mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> I think it's time. All right. Let's. Do, do we have to do something here, or does it? Ah, it does it by itself. <laughs> All right. There it is. Now, what does it do? This is the world's first self-balancing human transporter. Self-balancing human transporting. You stand there, it goes. Forward and backward? It's sort of like putting on a pair of magic sneakers. You stand on this Segway HT and you think forward, you go forward. You think backward, you go backward. Well, now, wait a minute. You think forward and you go forward. You think backward and you go... You stand on it. Can you do that? I'd be happy to do that. Okay. I'll turn it on for you. Okay. Because I'm tempted to say, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> but that can't be it. When you say think forward, now there's no throttle like a, this, like a motorcycle. This may be one that uh, I think we were told that we couldn't run them in here. Oh, you, we're not going to run them in here. Oh. We're not going to run them in here. Well, but I just I, want you, can you, you, you can't stand on it unless it's going to go. Not unless it's going to go. Okay, all right. But you stand on that. When you say think forward, if you push forward, it'll go forward? If you, if you stood on this device right. and I said to you, Charlie, how do you walk forward? I go, I lean that way. But you don't need to well, do I don't that. do any of that, but I'm, I'm <laughs> extrapolating it. But I go, I do that. But you don't really know how you walk. Your mother remembers your first steps. It was a big deal. After a year or two of practice, humans do this rather remarkable thing. We learn to balance and we just know how to walk. And All the knowledge that went into knowing how to walk is transferred to this machine. When you stand on this machine, it kind of walks for you. It just does it very smoothly, very gracefully. It won't topple over forward it or go back? It absolutely will not. Top speed? This one is set to about 12 miles an hour, which is four times walking speed. So what used to take you a half an hour would take you seven, eight, nine minutes. This one is set to 12 miles an hour, but yes. they go faster? We have some that'll do more than that. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you okay. keep it from toppling over? That's the invention. <laughs> it, it's got... It does what a human does. It has gyros and sensors that act like your inner ear. It has a computer that does what your brain does for you. It's got motors that do what your muscles do for you. It's got those tires that do what your feet do for you. All right. We're gonna go to Bryant Park? We're going, we're gonna get on it, we're gonna try it. You've made a promise. They say it's better than sneakers. I'm gonna put them on and lace them up and try it. So Even we'll says see. it's better than pantyhose, which amazed Diane. <laughs> so we're gonna go to Bryant Park, try this out next half hour. Dean's gonna come with us. We'll be there. There it is right now. Stay with us. Demonstration event coming up. Works, but can Charlie and I return with our teeth? <laughs> I mean, this is, really, this is really cool. Dean, you should do, just you should do the little, now Dean is standing on this thing, we're all standing on it. Dean, you should do the little dance that you just did. I mean, well, to show how mobile this is. As you can see, it's That's very, right. very versatile. And all you do is just, you th as he said, you think forward a little bit and off you go. I mean, you do, and then you want to turn to the right. I mean, you just turn to the right. This and little handle mechanism, and then you turn to the left, you just come back around. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to run into you. <laughs> well, you go off this way. Boom, you move. And the further you lean forward, the faster you go. Okay, here we go. I'm coming up on you, Sawyer. All right, here we go. Can I stop? This is cool. How fast we go. I mean, <laughs> I have to say, now listen, you just, 
just talk among yourselves. You just talk among yourselves. We're gonna have some fun here. Thank you. This All right, then you just like stop you when you want to stop. Like and you lean back fiction. forward a little bit, you go back. Are there you want to go to the right? Yes. You just go to the right. You want to go to the left? Oh, I'm sorry. There you are. You go to the All right, yes. now there's, well, there's you four. There's two in each wheel. We've got an obstacle course here, which is set up with stones, a ramp, and even water. I'll tell you all that in a couple of minutes. Now, which of you, which of you guys is going to go over the obstacle course? Doug. All right, Doug is your name? Yes. All right, Doug, let's see this. We're going to, Doug's going to go over stones and a ramp. Push it into your stomach. All right, up the ramp. Turns around to the top of the ramp, down. Oop. Back up the ramp and reverse. No, back around. Doug has done this before. And through water. Holy cow. Now, to tell you how easy this is to learn, I've got to tell you, I just... I had not been on this thing, nor did I know what it was, until five minutes ago when we saw it uh, in the seven o'clock half hour, and this is really cool. <laughs> so, Dean, is it safe? I, she says that she's purple. <laughs> Where are you going? Is it of course safe? it's safe. I feel, feel like this safe? is chariots of fire. I feel safe, oh, but they're getting ahead of me. They're getting ahead of me. Their kids themselves. <laughs> Are you going to do the obstacle course, Diane? Uh, can I try the water? No, no. No, we don't want you guys to do that. Why not? Because <laughs> you'll make my machine wet. <laughs> so tell me when it's going to be out, how much it costs. Our first units are reserved for industrial and commercial partners. And we should tell everybody, Postal Service, Amazon.com. Yep, the National Park City of, Service. City of Atlanta. The City of Atlanta, various police departments around the country. Them. They're involved with us in uh, trials so that they can uh, uh, determine uh, just exactly uh, how effective these will be as a productivity tool. And uh, A couple of things. Number one, do you envision this going on streets or on sidewalks? Oh, as you can see, we're, uh, we're very sidewalk friendly. We are empowered pedestrians here. If you and I were to uh, collide, we would be no more uh, problematic than two pedestrians. In fact, New Yorkers would be more like, hey, come on. <laughs> All right. You don't do that on cars and on then, bicycles. And then there's obviously, as you mentioned, gyroscopes in this thing. How long can you go? on an electrical charge. How long, first of all, does it take to charge up, and then how long can you go on a charge? The charge is built in. You plug it into any outlet overnight, and for a consumer, it would go all day. You could, you could go, you said you live three miles from your studio. Right. You could commute to the studio. You could spend uh, lunch uh, tooling around town. You could go home at night. You'd have plenty of battery left. You have a briefcase on this wheel. Is, that, is there some sort of hidden charger in there? Or is that just no, to show you no, can carry a briefcase? No, this is just a briefcase because I never go anywhere without giving people first literature. <laughs> a little literature. Yeah, I had to but, ask. But this is designed to show you that you can carry a briefcase or something with yes, you to work when as you, you get go. To, and when you get to the office, you take your briefcase and you... So, can I run into Charlie? I'm sorry? <laughs> can I run into Charlie? Honestly, to, go see, ahead. to see what it's like. Go! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> kids bumper, will be kids. Bumper anchor is here. But no, it's so. It does seem so stable. It's it's at least as stable as you are. And you I mean, said, no offense, of course. <laughs> yeah. You said these ones are set to 12 miles an hour. No, I said this one is. Yours are set substantially uh, lower speed now for two reasons. Uh, we wanted you to get accustomed to the machine, and we wanted to demonstrate that, for instance, on sidewalks, uh, if the city decided that eight miles an hour is good, since this is entirely computer controlled. We can pick the key we want when we turn to, it on to, to give make it, it whatever speed speeds. limit we'd like. All right, and how soon commercially available to the public? Uh, the commercial units will be going out literally in the next few weeks in very small quantities to some of our uh, uh, launch partners. And uh, by the end of next year, there should be co consumer products. The end of 2002. Correct. And, the, and again, the general price, I know you don't know what the specifically the big price yet, but when they're available to the public, roughly? Uh, eventually, we're hoping that as a consumer product, a smaller, uh, simpler unit optimized uh, for a pedestrian, for a consumer, will come down, we're hoping, into the $3,000 range. $3,000 range. All right, Dean, this is, this is fun. <laughs>
Okay. Here we go. All right. Where's Diane? I want to run into her again. <laughs> that, that's me. <laughs> and I love this. Then you just go back. And then you go forward. It is like yourself. And then you just turn. All right, here I come. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I just ran over your butt. That's okay. How much time okay? do we have? Or can we just stay here and friend with this? <laughs> Another minute we got? Oh, great. <laughs> you can't believe how stable it is. And that to whatever you do, it just look. You gonna go in the water? <laughs> Really, what I cheated. I went over the rocks. <laughs> They're very good tires. Okay. Hey, it's All about right. time. Anybody in the audience, thousand bucks, you can try one out. <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll go to Tony Perkins of the weather, and we'll be back. <laughs> very smooth. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that looks like so, it looks so 21st century. I thought, oh, it looks like the future, but we're in the 21st century. Very, very cool. We're gonna show you more of it coming up in just a little bit. Right now. Okay, so we're back in Bryan Park with it and with Dean Kamen. I wanna show you something. It weighs about 60 to 70 pounds. And I, having mauled several people <laughs> here, I've made a discovery. Roll over my foot. You do not feel a thing. It's astonishing. And then I want to show something else because we have some great <laughs> tricks we've been working on for you. Show everybody the key and how you start it up. It's just a battery. It's like a dime battery here. And well, these are three different keys. Right. The and speed. This one runs at lower speed. This one is medium speed. And this is our high performance key. And we discovered I'm basically on the trainer wheel version <laughs> here. Look at us when we try to turn. I can't turn as fast as he can at all, see? It's a tricycle. But we do have our tricks. Are we ready? Are we are ready. OK, we have the no hands version. <laughs> are you sure okay. you don't? <laughs> I'm too he's, nervous. He is so afraid I'm going to break my leg here. <laughs> uh, honest to goodness. And then we have the dance version, which we'll show everybody. These are fabulous tricks. I know you'll agree <laughs> out there. OK, are we ready? We're ready. OK. <laughs> <laughs> You're better now, at this than I am. I'm annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> How could you be that good that fast? Now, do you expect to make it smaller, lighter, faster? We expect to make a consumer product that doesn't have all the performance range, for instance, of some of these units, uh, maybe with smaller batteries, which would make it lighter and a little bit more cost effective. Uh, but right now, we're launching uh, uh, various uh, programs with commercial and industrial partners. And okay. Again, you can go 15 miles a day on it with one battery, and here we go. Ready? Okay. Oh, we're oh. dancing again. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Down in Bryant Park, a couple of blocks from our studio, people still tooling around, the demonstrators still tooling around on IT, which uh, Dean gave us the better name for, but we still call it. Dean came in the inventor, and Diane and I, we literally picked it up in 30 seconds of riding around on IT. And it, it really was, it was fun. I hate to, well, I don't hate to admit it, it was fun. It was just terrific to do that. Diane is making her way back to the studio. She's not here yet because She's coming by the prosaic old means of transportation called an automobile. So she hasn't made it yet, but she'll be back uh, in just a few moments. In this half hour, uh, at five. Good morning, America. Good to have you with us. I'm Charles Gibson, and I'm a lot taller than Diane Sawyer is right now. <laughs> Yes, here I am, yearning to be back out there, balletic as I was. Look at that. Woof. Wouldn't let me do that. Wouldn't even let me go through the water. <laughs> it is such a great thing. We're back here, and Russell Simmons is back here with us. They keep too. showing the pictures because of that. So cool. Come back to the studio. Come back to the studio here. Because yeah. I want to show how much taller I Look am than Diane. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. 
Now you, you just you just got on this, right? Yeah. Yeah, you just got on this uh, about 30 seconds ago. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it great? Oh my God! This is cool. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, be careful. This oh, man, wait. this man will have half of you the interest in it very soon. We know him. Why well, you make a deal now? <laughs> <laughs> you help us get our first program into more schools. Really? It's more schools. More That's schools. good. I like that. What are we gonna do in schools? I'll show you. Okay. Are you having a good You're time? You're rich already. Yeah, I'm just. I mean, I'm just standing on this thing with my hands in my pocket. Are you selling it's very stock? <laughs> no, we are not. <laughs> it's very easy to stand on the, with your hands in your pockets, uh, perfectly at rest. You're perfectly right. comfortable. I want to say a couple of people have said, does it work on snow? It works great on snow. It works great uh -oh. on snow. How's this? Getting ready for the winter. All right. As this we effort. wheel around here, I want to tell you some of the things coming up. I borrow that one. Power. Do you want this? Sure. Personal shoppers mm -hmm. going to be here. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> can, I, can I have it? And my hands never left my pockets. Wait, there we go. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my God. Anyway, our personal shopper is going to be here. Presents for the lady in your life, as is written up down. here. And uh, this could well be one of them. It's called Segway, right? You call yes. it Segway. I keep calling it, yes, but it is the official name is Segway. We call it a seg Segway. Segway Human Transporter. Human Transporter. And that means a Segway from... That's a long name. It is easier. <laughs> I know. It's you want it. Segway, if you look in the dictionary, says... A yes, smooth <laughs> transition uh, uh -huh. from one position or idea to another. And this is a nice way to go from one place to another. And it is an idea. It's a change in thinking about how people will get around cities. Well, also coming up in this half hour, in addition to showing you some more fancy tricks, and Charlie, we want you, to, we want you to work on this now. Surprise us at the end of this half hour. All right, we have us also in this half hour the man who changed all our lives, cool. Intel Chairman Andy Grove, whose company makes chips that power PCs, cell phones, digital cameras, even anti-lock brakes. Maybe they even power this thing, but I don't think so. <laughs> but he tells us the story of how, as a boy, he escaped the Nazis, grew up in time to be man of the year. But first, the news and Antonio Moore at the ABC News desk. Antonio, you're on. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. Cruel and unusual punishment to have okay. me up here and not down there with you guys. Good morning to all of you. An American who was fighting for the Taliban is now in U.S. military. So you folks just talk among yourselves. We're going to have a good time here with the Segway human one more time. Uh -huh. It's a big Roger mouthful. Okay. Segway human, human transporter. Right. So, really? Was marvelous. your biggest terror that we'd break our legs this morning? Yes, it was. <laughs> you can't now I know how a parent <laughs> feels. But you can't do it. It's can't impossible. It. No. We'll be it's back. Stay great. with us. Woo! Dean, we're having fun, but obviously not a toy. <laughs> well, it, it is not a toy. It is a very serious productivity tool for industry, and eventually <laughs> it will make cities... Now, Marcy Pipe, a New Hampshire inventor, has unveiled his alternative mode of transportation. It is a high-tech scooter called the Segway Human Transporter. The two-wheeled scooter was officially unveiled today on Good Morning America. The invention is being billed as a short-distance alternative to the automobile, but safer. We are empowered pedestrians here. If you and I were to uh, collide, we would be no more uh, problematic than two pedestrians. In fact, New Yorkers would be more like, hey, come on. <laughs> All right. You don't do that on cars and on then, bicycles. Inventors have high hopes for the product. They think it could revolutionize the way we travel. I believe the Segway HT will do for walking what the calculator did for pad and pencil. You'll get there quicker. You'll go further. You can carry more anywhere people walk. And it's really fun. The city of Atlanta, several police departments, and some park ranger services are already using the Segway for business, and the Postal Service says it might buy some. Segway represents a major technological breakthrough with the potential to literally change the way people live and work and enable people to get from point A to point B much more efficiently, much more productively, much faster. It has great productivity implications. The Segway weighs 60 to 70 pounds, and you plug it into a regular outlet to charge it. A few downfalls to the transport, though. On a single battery charge, it can only go 15 miles. It is. We've just been talking about it. This is it. This is the Segway. They're saying it's reinventing the wheel. It looks like a combination of a scooter and a lawnmower. 
Inside is some high-tech gadgetry, some of it designed and created by a Pittsburgh company. Axicon Technologies on Banksville Road has been contracted to manufacture the Segway's transmissions. It's been top secret. The transmissions will connect the power source with the axles of the machine. Axicon has been working on the development for some time now, all in secret. Segway Vice President Jay Douglas Field says Axicon has been a vital member of our technical development team. Axicon is expanding its local production line in part because of this major contract. Other companies around the country have been contracted for tires, the balance system, the motor, even the paint for Segway. Commercial models of the human transporter will be available next year at a cost of about $3,000. Not bad, not very bad guys. I mean, mm. I don't know what you want to do with $3,000. Right. Fits, fits under the Christmas tree. Thanks, Sally. Well, everyone would love to say goodbye.